When Sri Lanka was sinking, India provided assistance worth $4 billion, no strings attached, no grudges held for Colombo's proximity with China. A lot of people say that India is con losing control of, of South Asia. I say South Asia was never India's to control. New Delhi is building relations based on mutual respect and equality, and the results show beyond government interactions. Countries like Nepal and Bhutan are using India's online payment systems. Students from the neighborhood come to India for training, grants, and scholarships. This government has aced what we call Buddhist diplomacy. It is leveraging India's position as a cradle of Buddhism. All these initiatives have made India popular. The world stands with us against Chinese expansionism. The global south looks up to us for leadership. The global north looks up to us for partnership. I think that's the hallmark of great diplomacy and statecraft, when you're loved and respected in all quarters. More importantly, when you're trusted in all quarters. Because your path is also about your role in the world. Are you a troublemaker or a consensus builder? I think there is no doubt as to where India stands. India is a member of the Quad and the SCO. India is invited to the G7, but is also a member of the BRICS. India rubs shoulders with the West, but also leads the global South. Which other country can claim to juggle these roles? And how does India do it? Because we are not trying to play an outsized role in the world, we are trying to play the right role. In the Russia-Ukraine war, India has not taken sides. And I know it confuses a lot of people here, but back home the thinking is very clear. It is not in our national interest to pick sides and make things worse. India has excellent relations with Russia and the West, and we want to preserve that. It's like when your two good friends fight. Do you pick sides and make things worse? Or do you try to talk sense to them and bridge the divide? I know what a good friend would do. I see what India is doing. The world stands with us against Chinese expansionism. The global south looks up to us for leadership. The global north looks up to us for partnership. I think that's the hallmark of great diplomacy and statecraft, when you're loved and respected in all quarters. More importantly, when you're trusted in all quarters. India repaid that trust during the COVID-19 pandemic. When the world forgot about morals and globalization, India sent 24 crore vaccines to India rubs shoulders with the West, but also leads the global South. Which other country can claim to juggle these roles? And how does India do it? Because we are not trying to play an outsized role in the world, we are trying to play the right role. In the Russia-Ukraine war, India has not taken sides. And I know it confuses a lot of people here, but back home the thinking is very clear. It is not in our national interest to